TPP, which stands for True Boiling Point Distillation Curves, are very important because they are the footprint of what is going to happen when we boil our crude oil. And why is it important? Because that will give us temperatures and percentages of the ratios and cuts that we will have eventually in our distillation column. ASTM stands for the American Standard, no, American Society for Testing Materials. So they are, let's say, the ones that state the standards, but there are several ways in which you can carry these out. TPP, in my opinion, is more complete because it, is, it uses more stages. So technically the blue one is better. And actually you can see that ASTM is a quick way to do it, quick way to characterize it, but the more precise is TBP. Okay, so let's imagine that we have our crude oil, beautiful crude oil, 100% volume. And let's say we're at 25 Celsius, or let's say Fahrenheit just to keep track of this part right here. So we're at 75 Fahrenheit. And I want to boil this. I want to know what is the first bubble temperature of this oil. So I do it up to this point right here. So at 340 Fahrenheit, I start watching the first bubble going out. So I keep track of this. Then I continue until only 90% is left. That, that means 10% has been evaporated. And I keep track of this. Then I go to the half, whenever I see half of the petroleum gone, 50% volume, I track this temperature. And I keep going up to 90%, meaning that only 10% is left, will be something around here. And finally, I want to ensure that the 100% of the petroleum is in boiling or has been evaporated. I get this temperature. So all these temperatures that you tracked all the way here is the TBP distillation curve. And why do we want it? Because this is the footprint for our crude oil. This way we will be able to verify which cut we are going to get at distinctive temperatures. Let's say that you want, you have your specification of gasoline that burns between 400 and 450 Fahrenheit. Well, then you're going to see how much volume you're going to get from this cut. So you get from 18 up to 50. So that will be about 30. 35% of volume. Let's say that your diesel specification is shorter. So you have 500 up to half of this. And you see this is almost 85 and you got this 60, 70, this is 15%. So that way you can see the temperatures that you're going to require, the volume that you will get from, and of course the specific, this is the first step for the specification of the column. Now there are several tests as stated here, the ASTM or the TBP. In my opinion, and the most common one will be the following, ASTM D285 distillation. Typical condition is 15 to five, meaning that we're going to carry 15 plates, 15 stages with a reflux of five to one. Now this is very important because of course, if you use more stages, you're going to get better purity and if you use different reflux ratios, you're going to get different results. So it's very important to have the same specifications. In my opinion, comparing TBP versus ASTM, it's kind of tricky. You can see it here, That's, you can see the differences. So the best way is of course, do it by yourself in your experimentation or to give it to a single provider and you can com uh, compare between different crude oils. And let's continue. Here's the difference in methods. The TBP curve is measured using batch distillation. So as I did before, the example I was telling you, this is clearly batch because we are removing volume one by one until we get from 0% to 100%. We use more than 100 trays. So remember, more trays, more purity and a huge amount of reflux. Compared to the one which is stated here, ASTM is a single stage apparatus with no reflux does not indicate a good separation of various components. As you can see, the orange one is not that nice compared to the blue one. And it indicates the operation of the laboratory setup far away from the equilibrium. So once again, this is not that likely to occur in real life. 
in the distillation column, actually we try to operate near the equilibrium in order to ensure most of the material going through the respective cuts. So that's up to you. But the main, let's say, the main use of ASTM is that it's very cheap and faster than the TVP. Also, if you're just comparing between raw materials, the ASTM will be enough. TVP comes handy whenever you go more into the design engineering part, which you are now important, you're carrying the data for your distillation column. That's why we analyze. Distillation curves are of huge help because as stated before, let me go back. You have density, API gravity, viscosity, sulfur contents, but they will have different curves. One might be like this, other might be like this. It's kind of skew, some contrary, something like this, or straight. So you may have a different TVPs, but the important part is that the more tools you have, for instance, if you have sulfur content, TVP curve, viscosity, density, and other data, you will get to know more your crude oil. That's what I like having is characterization. You're giving a face to your crude oil.